Hi, this is Dr. Friedman. I'm going to show you how to set up and play the drums in Soundtrap. So I'm going to add a track and I'll select uh, drums. And the default setting is to bring up this uh, machine, vanilla machine, and go to patterns. I'm going to go to the instrument setup here. Now you can change the instrument from the default setting. And I'm going to click on the icon that is the drums. You could choose any instrument that you like. We're going to stick with drums. And you have a variety of drums, kits, machines, and process. I'll choose kits here. And these are acoustic drum kits. And machines are electronic kits. And then processed, if you go down, are those process sounds. Each one of these drums will sound different. These kits will sound different. So every time you play a bass drum, a clean black will be different than a bass drum from the Latin kit, from the 70s kit, so on, etc. So let's just check out what this first one is, this free clean black kit. I'll close the window and my computer keyboard will trigger these drum sounds. Now when you first hit a note, uh, Soundtrap will start to record. So I'm just going to hit one note and stop that so we can keep going. So I have uh, A is my computer keyboard and all of these sort of shaded areas, there are little different shades of purple. So this particular shade of purple, A, D, Q, E, T, these are drums. And then the lighter shade of purple are cymbals and various other sounds. So let's check it out. A is the bass drum. D is a snare drum. X is a variation called a rim click. Q is the E and T are tom-toms. And then we have different cymbal sounds moving over to the hi-hat. U is the closed hi-hat. That's the stick on the hi-hat itself. A, uh, eight is the stick on an open hi-hat. So you can have a variation between closed, open, closed, open, closed, open. And O is the foot pedal of the hi-hat. Then we have the number one, crash cymbal nine. Another crash cymbal. Seven is the ride cymbal. Y variation of the ride symbol, and then you have other sounds here, H, J, K, various sounds. So you can play yourself a little groove. It's set up really nicely here, actually. So you could play stuff just using two hands, which would be bass drum, snare drum, maybe add some uh, hi-hat to it. Etc. Uh, it's probably a good idea to uh, record each one of these separately so you have more control over volume levels and effects that you'd like to do. So bass drum separate, snare drum separate, uh, hi-hat separate, each on separate tracks. Uh, but it's kind of fun to do stuff all together and uh, check that out and try some stuff out. Have a good time with drums.